when do we want we need extract first real the head of NASA says he's sure of the existence of extraterrestrial life the new head of NASA stated that he confidently believes that there is extraterrestrial life in the universe. In an interview with the University of Virginia Center for Political Science, Bill Nelson, who was named NASA president in May, responded to Larry Sabato, a professor of political science at the University of Virginia. My personal belief is that the universe is vast. There are even theories now that there may be other worlds. If so, who would I say that planet Earth is the only place of a kind of life that is as civilized and organized as we are? He asked, are there any other planets on Earth outside? I definitely think so, because the universe is so big. Nelson also said that naval pilots have reported more than 300 UFO sightings since 2004, but neither the military nor NASA knows what they are. In May of this year, evidence of an identified flying object was released around an American warship in the Pacific. One of the sailors says that the object which was changing course despite its high speed. Wow, how fast they moved. One month earlier, the Pentagon had released three classified videos showing other strange objects between 2014 and 2050. According to the Pentagon, the video were released to clarify any public misconception about whether or not the videos were released, and whether or not there is more to the videos. He said, we hope this is not about the enemy force on the ground, which has this kind of technology. But that's bored anyway, and so this is a mission that we are constantly on. What? Who is there? Who are we? How did we get out of here? How did we become who we are now? How did we develop? And how did we become civilized? And are there similar conditions in a universe with billions of other suns among billions of other galaxies? It's so vast that I cannot even imagine. When he asked by Nelson what he thought, the answer was, the NASA director replied that he did not know. But I know something. My personal belief is that the world is very big and now there are even theories that there might be another world. And if so, I would say that the Earth is the only place where a kind of civilized and organized life like ours has been formed. He added, I will tell you what make me think. I better be better responsible for what we have. Because we ruin the situation just as we treat and sabotage each other. So, I know what my mission is. My mission is to be a better responsible for this planet and a better citizen for the planet Earth. NASA's Mars space programs are an important part of the search for extraterrestrial life. Two weeks ago, the Perseverance astronauts found evidence that G-Zero estuary was in an ancient time a lake of water and a specimen of the delta may contain organic compounds and other signs of extraterrestrial life. Looking for extraterrestrial life is part of NASA's mission. Nelson, too, doesn't claim to have any definitive explanations, but it's certainly noteworthy 
that the leader of the U.S. space agency is both receptive to the idea that life may exist beyond Earth and invested in the idea of NASA trying to uncover answers. What do you think we are doing on Mars? Go looking for life. This is a part of NASA's mission, he said. At the same time, Nelson said that the possibility of intelligent life elsewhere in the universe only underscores the importance of taking care of our planet. Are UFO sighting signs of extraterrestrial life? During his conversation with Sabato, Nelson emphasized the search for extraterrestrial life as a part of NASA's explorations and said Navy pilots have reported more than 300 sightings of unidentified flying objects since 2004. He continued, and they don't know what it is, and we don't know what it is. We hope it's not an adversary here on Earth that has that kind of technology. The US government in recent years has become increasingly forthright about pilots in contrast with UFOs thought it has been careful not to suggest that these sightings are proof of alien life. A Pentagon report released in June did not reach conclusion about the provenance of the sightings. Keeping a number of other possible explanations, such as the idea that the UFOs are in fact advanced technologies from countries like Russia or China, or that they are simply the result of natural phenomenon messing with the military planes, censor in play. Well guys, this video is over, I hope you enjoy. Uh, before we finish today's video, I wanted to know to continue the topic of extraterrestrials in space or make a video of any topic. Please comment your opinion and if you have idea about topic, comment it too. Uh, and be sure to the subscribe button, like button and I don't know any case that you think can help me. So thanks for watching so far and until the next video, have a great time.